Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom notes. Now right now, this folder is actually a folder inside the Unturned folder itself that's just named Custom Stuff. And I've got a custom note here guys just to show you and demonstrate. And then before the video is over, we'll have made our own custom one just to show you how to make it from scratch because it's really not that hard. As you guys can see, there's three files here, one of which we don't really even touch. So uh, let's get into actually how to make one of these. So first of all, if you guys want to copy one that already exists, that's a really good way of actually creating one in the first place. So if you go to your unturned folder, the very root of it, and you go to bundles, then if you go to objects, medium, furniture, and then if you scroll down, you should see a bunch of notes here. Really, you could copy any one of these and just start from scratch using that one. Now, of course, I've already got a template here, and I'm going to be using that to show you guys how to actually make this. So once you actually have the template, there's the three files, and really, you only need to mess with the Unity 3D one in terms of renaming it. So decide on what you want to name your note itself, and make sure that the folder is named that first. This is actually very important. The folder name needs to match the name for the .dat file, and it really needs to match the name for the unity 3d file if it doesn't work it will not show up inside the game and this actually threw me a loop for quite a bit so once you've got these two files named as the same as your folder it's about time to open them up also open up the english.dat file while you're at it so once we're in here first of all we got the normal name of the note and then the dot dat this sort of takes the place of the asset dot dat it's kind of weird that this doesn't use that but uh, that's just sort of the way nelson has it set up so first of all something at the top you guys should be familiar with is a GUID. Generate your own GUID and actually I've got a good GUID website here. I'll have the link for this in the description. It's very simple. You just have one here and then you generate a GUID and it'll be unique. So once you've got your GUID set up here, next you want to have type and then you want to have medium. Uh, this is just something that you should leave there by default. Next you've got ID number and you don't want this to match up with any previous ID number. So you want to make sure it's above 2000 for sure because below 2000 is used by uh, Nelson himself. But uh, you want it to be some sort of randomized number because if your ID clashes with another one that's being used, one of your two items won't show up and there's a good chance that it might be yours. So that needs to be something unique. I just made mine 20,010 just because why not. Also, something else you need to have down here is interactability and then space note. So this just pretty much means you can interact with it and it's the type of thing that you can interact with that is a note. Next, you've got interactability underscore hint, use. This should all be pretty much there by default if you're copying a already made note. After that, you've got interactability text underscore lines, and this is going to be how many lines are actually in your note, and you can change this one if you want. And then lastly, we've got asset bundle underscore version 2 and you pretty much leave that one alone as well. So next, uh, we've got the Unity Note. Obviously, you guys are not really going to understand what's in here. We really don't have to do anything with that except rename it. And then lastly, we've got the English.dad. And all we have to do in here is customize the name and both of these two lines down here. The name is actually going to be what it shows up in-game and what it shows up in the editor. So it's pretty important that you name this something that you'll be able to recognize and that will make sense for your map. So I'm just going to name my note dash custom note one and then in terms of the interactability text line zero this is going to be what's going to show up on the very first line this is going to be what's going to show up on the very second line and of course you can have as much stuff on here as you want so for example if I wanted to add a few more lines all you have to do is copy one of these paste it in there make sure you increment the number by one so you got to go zero one two three four etc you can't have any of the lines having the exact same number and then you can just say new line number three and of course this is the third line but it's still number two so don't let that throw you off um, and sort of copy what I have here if you're really confused with it alright so guys one more thing before we move on uh, yes we did add this new line but it's important if you add a line you need to make sure that this number over here matches how many lines you have so if I kept it at two only two of these lines would show up and the third one would not be there so it's really important that you do that, otherwise your note won't work properly. So that's pretty much going to be it for us in terms of creating this note. As long as we put the note in the right location, it'll completely work. So I'll reiterate where you need to put it. So I'm going to copy this folder, and we're going to go to the unturned folder here. Go to Bundles, go to Objects, Medium, Furniture, and then paste it somewhere in here. Now I already have the folder in here, so I just replaced the files. It's not a big deal. And all we have to do at this point is start up Unturned. So once we get into Unturned, um, something you're going to need to do before you see the note inside a map is place the note down inside the editor. So we're going to need to go to Workshop, Editor, and then we're going to have to do uh, 
I'm going to use the map editor tutorials map, the one I use for testing, and as you guys can see, we already have the note down here. So I'm just going to show you how to find it inside the object editor. The best way to do this is to type the name itself. So I named mine custom note, and if I press enter, you should see note dash custom note one, and that is the note I created. So I'm going to place it right here. We actually have two of them. This is the same one, and I'm going to delete that one. So here's my note, note dash custom note one, and if I save this and we go into it in survival, we should be able to see it and read it. All right, guys. So once we are in the world, as you guys can see, this is the same world I used for my NPC video. We've got our note here, and as you guys can see, we've got exactly on here what we made in the notepad. So as you guys can see, we've got all the same lines here, and it works pretty well. Now, as I said before, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one from scratch really quick here, and I'm just going to show you the whole process as quickly as I can do it, and sort of just show you how to do it from scratch. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to copy what I already have, and I'm going to rename this folder custom note 2 because I already have custom note 1 and I want to make sure they're different. Once I've done that, I want to make sure that the folder name matches the names in here. So that's really important and I need to just change those over. Uh, the Unity 3D file, I can pretty much leave the same. The English.dat I want to change and the custom note 2.dat I want to change. First of all, I want to change the ID number for the custom note 2. I also want to give it a new GUID. So this new one that I generated just a little bit ago is going to be the one I used and that's going to be what I have in there. In terms of all this stuff, this pretty much stays the same. The only thing I'm going to change is uh, from three lines to one and then because I'm only using one line I need to make sure that I have this change in here. So I'm going to say I'm only using one line of the English dot dat and that's going to show up inside of my note so it's going to be a weird note but that's fine I can also customize the name to pretty much whatever I want so I'm going to name it to custom note number two and that'll pretty much do it for me so once I've done this all I have to do is grab that entire folder take it out here go into bundles objects medium furniture paste it in there then start up the game. Once I'm in the game, all I have to do is go to the map I want to use it in, uh, go into edit that, go to the level objects, type in the name of the note. Also, what you could do as well is go to uh, uncheck everything except for medium and then scroll through here. Of course, this is not going to be as great, but you can definitely do it that way. So let me find it real quick. Here it is, custom note number two. Um, and of course it doesn't really help that some of the Russia stuff makes it out of order. It's really flipping weird that it's like that actually because you're going by alphabetical order and then you get all this Russia stuff in here and like Hawaii stuff. It's flipping weird. Okay, so once I have it in there, all you have to do is go to single player, play in that world, and then you should see your custom note right here on the ground. And as you guys can see, I'm using the exact same thing as you saw in the English.dat. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it was pretty simple to understand, and hopefully you'll be able to use these in your map pretty easily. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.